hi there, I've just got 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for following me and watching. So I've been thinking about what should I talk about if I actually get 100 subscribers. So I came down to three topics. The first one, thank you. Thank you so much for watching me and following me. It feels great. The second thing, the second thing I want to talk about is the reason why I created this YouTube channel. And the third topic, the third thing is the goal, what I want this channel to actually achieve. So the reason why I created this YouTube channel was because maybe it takes us back two years ago to my uh, local game store. There was a person there who decided to create a casual EDH tournament. And at the time being, I was playing really competitive. I was playing a lot of uh, competitive EDH decks and I didn't really see and understand how you're going to make a casual EDH tournament function and be functional. I understood how you could do it in competitive, but I didn't see how it's gonna work out. In any case, I joined the tournament, I was starting playing some, some competitive decks, some semi-competitive decks, and it worked out quite fine. Uh, some person, one, I was actually hit one, one time, so one person reacted like this. That wasn't fun. BAM! And, well, it, it was okay. But in, end, in the end, I realized that some casual people don't mind playing against something that is semi-competitive, and some casual players kind of want to learn a little bit more about the competitive and want to improve. And some people started to show up to me and ask, hey, take a look at this deck and tell me what you think. And can I improve it somehow? And I reacted like, yeah, sure, let me see here and you should remove this and you should do that. And I realized that I can make people become better. And that's great because that will make people play better decks. And that will be more fun for me. So I actually started an EDH school on my local game store to try to have some sessions with people to just teach them and show them and help them improve and it did work it did help people improve but it took so much time and energy for me that it wasn't really worth it so I was starting to think how can I do this differently but still achieve the same thing and then I thought yeah YouTube I could make YouTube videos about how to become a better EDH player and teach people how to create decks etc uh, etc et and that's what I've been trying to do on this channel so far. And it's, as you can see, it's, it's been working. I've made like 100 subscribers. I'm really happy about that. So the third topic that I want to talk about on this video is the goal. The goal of what this channel actually wants to achieve. So I want EDH, competitive EDH, to become bigger, more popular, and then eventually played with serious price money I might say actually truly yes that's what I want that's what I want this channel to do I know that it, this channel is probably not going to achieve that alone but I think this channel can help pushing the community in that direction and maybe drawing more casual players and more players in magic towards competitive EDH because once they start to maybe see that it's possible to play it competitive and it's possible to play it in tournaments. We actually do that here in my local game store. And if I can help that happen to eventually maybe have a big tournament in San Francisco or a big tournament in Dreamhack here in Sweden, if you know what Dreamhack is, or a big tournament in Asia, I don't know. It doesn't matter because if there is one, I'm going to be there and I'm going to win. That's it. That's when I go. That's my goal. Uh, and like I said, I don't think that my channel will be the one to achieve that. But I think my channel might be there and help that happen and pushing it in towards that direction. If there's any channel that I think is going to achieve that in the long run, it's either Laboratory Maniacs or the Command Zone. The Command Zone might have to become a little bit more like turned into... Uh, they, they're a bit semi... I don't know. They're, they're in the middle ground competitive and not competitive. I think they're casual in my eyes. And maybe t maybe um, Team Turn 3, I think they're called. I think they play a little bit uh, semi-competitive. In the end, it would be a community thing. Something that the community wants, because if the community becomes big enough and if the community wants it, it's probably going to happen. We'll see, it's a dream. Uh, it's not something that I think would happen. EDH is small, competitive EDH is small. So, we'll see. Hope, big hopes, big dreams are good. And that is why, at least, this channel has the name CEDH TV because I want to push forward competitive EDH and I want it to be like a television. Maybe in the future I might have some form of uh, 
game downs and showdowns and game nights who knows we'll see what actually happens it's it, this is a new thing for me so this is a much me growing as the channel is growing as the community and competitive edh is growing so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun journey for me at least but that's enough from me i want to hear you guys i want to hear your ideas i want to hear your wishes if you have a burning wish just write that down below in the comment if you want to see game shows, if you want to see EDH matches, just write that down below in the comment. If you want to see more deck techs, certain deck techs, just write that too. I'm here. I'm reading the stuff. I'm answering. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I wonder if you want to see more videos like this. <laughs>